Good day to you. I am Peter Thorne. I'll be demonstrating what to do in Engineer Pro 2014 R1 slash R2. I've got a series of patterns and lines on here for the demonstration purposes only. I'll zoom into this area to start with first for the first function I'll be explaining. This is the marker function. The marker function has undergone significant change. The marker count is now dependent on the length of line which is being applied to. This uh, will also affect how edge templates work. You will need not need so many predefined templates in your library. You can set the defaults of the marker length and gap in the systems options or still have the old draw method for the length of the markers. First of all, we'll do I will highlight this line, I will draw, according to the length of the line it is decided to put on 2 using these defaults. Obviously if I pick a bigger line and pick it again it is decided to put on a lot more. I'll put on a real big one here and say draw and it's got a lot more. It leave, however it leaves you in the edit mode so you can delete things, move things, do what you want, middle, uh, draw another one and so forth. You can then have all this. This is how the marker, temp, uh, marker function is now working. The next function is the quick chain function. Zoom in again this area for interest. I have a collection of lines here to show you how the quick chain function will work. I select the quick chain function. It will pre-highlight the line picked. It will highlight two intersections on the screen. However, there's no intersection on the end of this line, so if I did a pre a quick chain, it would just finish on that intersection. I choose this one to start with, followed by that one, and it's adding the lines to the chain. I accept and it's made the ch chain between all of those. The basis of this quick chain will also affect how uh, mirror constraints works. Obviously, the chain, quick chain here, constrained, and also the stabs and the decoratives also will take this into account, into account. So, if I wanted to put a marker along this line, a constrained marker, I will pick this. As I'm selecting it, it is adding and joining a line of a chain. So once it's finished, it is quickly drawn a chain by default, but applied a marker according to the length of that line given. Nice new feature. However, if I select a piece what's active, this piece has had a mirror axis across it. So if I draw a constrained line on this one with the piece active, Again, I will just modify where I wanted to go, but now when I accept, it will automatically mirror that across the mirror axis of that line. Nice new function. Again, helping to speed up the process of the work. Another nice new feature, if I come over here, because I need some more lines to show you, is the select all like function. So, the select or like you can either do it from here it's a addition to the edit mode you can select all by control A this one obviously it's grayed out at the moment until I select a line and then you can go here and say select all like this line so that is a mirror line I mean a margin line so all my margin lines will now then highlight if I pick this mirror line you can go back up here or just use the shortcut key and it selects all my mirror lines. Nice new function to help you select a lot more lines and making it faster to use. Right, the next nice new thing again I'll, I can zoom in over here again is how we use the boundary function. Before we had two icons we had a normal boundary where you select the lines and you go round and also a quick area one. Now we can put the two together. So you can highlight it. So as I said, you can highlight a line or an area. So if you so wish, you can go around and continue the old fashioned way by defining a line like this. 
select undo for this function but however if I wish to select by zone I could pick it there I could pick it there and obviously I can't pick there because it's not joining but I can select it that one now it's added to it and now I can select that except it's made the boundary of those pieces by using zones a nice new function is the capability of radiusing the corners using the so I've got that's highlighted we will show you is radius chamfer if I select a point make that slightly bigger so we can see it say 8 now instead of going around clicking on all the corners you can use the arrow keys to flick through all the desired intersections you wish to radius again it's a little function but it will speed up how you are creating your parts initialize this area oh it's highlighted thank you so we got there a nice neat function very simple to do but this pattern the toes pointing to the right now some uh, pattern cutters may wish it or design it wish want to go to the right so all we got to do is go to the draw a new function in mirror called flip this will flip everything over your grade assignments and everything like this your patterns and everything else is flipped across the axis so you can go back and flip it back if you so wish so you can flip backwards and forwards depending if you like your toe to the right or toe to the left the most exciting new function is in a this form if I select this and go right mouse button you will see this synchronized in 3d and update in 3d so I will try to explain of how this will be working first of all I'll clear this and minimize and open up shoemaker so within shoemaker I will pick a shoe a last this will couple of seconds to bring it in right that's in so how I, now if I draw on not too many lines just for the demonstration purposes so yeah, I've got four little lines on what I will do is I will save it save it to my desktop said except take a couple of minutes to do, do. cancel that this is saving all the data within a dot shoe file that's saved here so I can go here to synchronize everything to engineer and then we'll just save it again just for safety sake that is saved I can close that now open up engineer and pick up the same file so now if I open pick the Z one you'll see it appear down here so in here right we'll try to explain what's going to be happening if I select this line and modify it however you wish I will make that one synchronize in 3D that will make the engineer the master over shoemaker however if I pick this one and edit the line and we'll just say synchronize this one so when you synchronize it you will get a message when you open up shoemaker do you want to update so I'll just save that that's gone select that open up shoemaker again and we will just open the last pattern what we just did that one here we go and it comes brings it in we will get a nice message do you want to update yes so you see that is the master and that is the updated one so this is a nice new exciting feature what everybody's been asking about to have the capability to interactively change the 3D and 2D applications.
so this should fill all the customers requirements of synchronizing between the 3D and 2D so that is all for now the what's new in engineer bye for now